Again, the Element Well Studios have been relocated right down here to Laurel, Mississippi. We're at the yard at the Laurel Mercantile Company, and we want to give a shout out to uh, the Jones County Board of Supervisors, Howard Industries, Hell Fighters USA, South Central Regional Medical Center, and of course, Jones College, who have uh, made this remote possible. We appreciate their sponsorship. And we welcome now Dr. B.R. Jones, the superintendent of the Jones County School District. Dr. Jones, good to see you. Good afternoon. It's great to be here. It's a beautiful day. Man, it is Chamber of Commerce weather down That's here in Laurel exactly today. Right. If you want to get some folks to, to come on in, this is the day to do it for sure. So uh, we don't have much, uh, m many more days left, I guess, in the existing uh, schedule for we, school, or, do, or you do, do you go year round? We we uh, we're on a still on a traditional schedule. We okay. have uh, less than 30 days. Okay. Left with students. So yes. it's winding down. It is. It is winding down in full uh, speed uh, testing uh, season, of course. <laughs> uh, and so uh, our teachers and students are working very hard to show what they've learned over the course of the year. So uh, we're excited to see how those results uh, come out. Uh, we were actually an A-rated school district this year for the first time. So Congratulations! We're excited about that, and and look forward to trying to maintain that. That's awesome. So, seems like not too long ago we sent everybody home during the COVID era uh, for school. It, but it sure seems and feels like that things have, have normalized and returned to their pre-COVID state. Would you agree with that? We do. We do. Uh, a lot of school districts lost enrollment during that time. We actually uh, lost 300 students. Uh, but we've got most of those back by this year. Okay. So we're very excited about that. Uh, we feel like that, um, to, you know, and we were also able to get back in session. Uh, as quick as possible. We, we worked really hard to get kids back in school and, and we feel like that's paying off yeah. right now as we see. Uh, there's no, uh, no replacement for having a high quality teacher working with those kids each and every day and uh, focusing on the basics, reading, writing, arithmetic. Uh, and so we've, we've seen the outcome of that and, uh, and we look forward to seeing what our kids do this year. Lots of reports I'm sure you're well aware of and have probably consumed about just the, that lost time and how uh, a lot of students uh, really fell behind of where they should be. Do you feel like we're back to where we need to be? And are you, you have you done something, taken some action to kind of we're, make up we're for that? We're seeing progress. Uh, we did a lot of extensive remediation uh, in the summertime before okay. uh, coming back. Um, and so uh, we are seeing that. Another thing that students lost that some people discounted was the socialization aspect. Uh, of that type of thing and so behavior and, and those types of things were some issues as we started back but again uh, that's starting to normalize uh, and so getting back into a routine I think okay. is probably one of the best things for not only our students but also our parents as well so that they could get back to work and that type of thing. And Dr. Jones, young, young students spend arguably as much time with their teachers in the classroom, in the schools, as they do with, with their own parents. So it's, it's important to have that, really high-quality people. It, it is. That, that's, the, the, that's the most critical aspect of educational leadership for us, providing the highest quality teacher we can for our students each and every day. And, and we're very blessed here in Jones County uh, to have some very high-quality teachers. And, and you mentioned uh, the, the – the need and the and the and what a teacher can do. Yeah. Any of us that have ever tried to teach our child, our own child, <laughs> how to drive, right? We have that expert blind spot. It's very hard for us to teach them those skills. Uh, but a teacher with the right mentality and, and the support and that type of thing that they, it's it's a miracle what they can do with those kids, starting as early as pre-K. Uh, teaching a kid how to read, uh, write, those types of things sometimes we take for granted, but it's really a miracle what they can do. I think studies uh, for decades have shown that uh, involvement from the parents in, uh, in the lives of their youngsters and then in the school community in general is uh, essential for really producing the best outcomes. Do you feel like you have good parental involvement here in Jones we, County? We are so blessed. We do. We do. Our, our parents love and support our schools. Uh, it's, I've always said uh, in the 29 years or so now that I've been doing this, Jones County is a hidden gem. Uh, amongst the districts across the state. We kind of fly under the radar, even though we are the eighth largest school district, you know, in the state. Uh, we are actually the fourth largest employer in Jones County. Wow. And so not only do we have an impact uh, as far as educating the kids here, but we also have an impact as far as economic development goes as well.
What do you feel are, are some of the, the big challenges that K through 12 education or perhaps your, your district in general are facing? Well, right now, knowing kind of what our funding uh, formula is going to look like, you know, going forward for next year, uh, again, uh, but uh, you know what, we're going to, we are very blessed as well in Jones County to have great legislators that really support our schools. Uh, they've been very open and forward with us going through the whole process, our senators and our uh, representatives. Okay. And so, uh, uh, again, all of them are all very, very supportive of our schools. And so they know that uh, that the folks in Jones County love their schools and, and they want them to be supported. And so we trust that, that things are going to work out with that. Gotcha. What are you seeing as, as kind of the most common path of a, of a high school graduate? Are they, are they going the, the traditional route of, of a being prepared for a college education and then, and then making that uh, the, the next step in their lives? Or are you finding that many of them are, are able to find gainful employment and work that better suits them outside? Well, we, we, we don't try to pigeonhole kids in, in one uh, sure. aspect or the other. We feel like we've been successful. If we provide the student the knowledge, the skills, and the dispositions that they need to be successful to go straight into the world of work, whether they choose to go to some type of technical training program, we have a great relationship with Jones College, our local community college, whether they choose to go into the military. We have many of our students that choose to go into military service or, of course, the more traditional college or university route. Uh, we're really focusing on workforce development with our local business leaders uh, as well uh, in trying to uh, uh, ratchet up our CTE offerings and programs, our career and technical education programs, uh, because sometimes I feel like those kids have been left out, the opportunities. We've always talked about how important that is, but uh, we're looking at ways to make more investment in those areas. It seems like the last few years we, we've seen lots of situations in the K-12 through environment across the country where, where parents are, are getting involved and expressing concerns about maybe not being fully informed and aware of what's going on in, in the school environment, in the classrooms. How do you see that playing out here in Jones County? We've worked very hard to up our social media presence to get information out more quickly. Uh, we implemented a mass communication system so that we could communicate more effectively. Uh, just anything a good business would do. It's all about customer service with us. We're here to serve our public. We're a service organization. Sure. Uh, and, and we've got some great things going on inside of our schools, and we want our parents to know about that. And they know if they have an issue or if they have a problem, they can pick up the phone, and we will answer the phone, and, yeah. and we'll be there for them. Uh, there's nothing, and we talk about it all the time, working together, there's nothing we can't sit down and work out with each other. So, you know, the legislature is uh, presently debating uh, on the approach to fund K-12 education in the next year, and perhaps uh, in, even in the years afterwards. We got competing legislation from the House and the, and the Senate, and it looks like uh, they'll be conferencing this week to hammer that out. You got any particular thoughts about that or just want to know where we stand? Well, I think probably both. Uh, I do have some particular <laughs> thoughts. Okay. There, there are certain aspects of the formula that we have in place now that are beneficial for our county. Okay. Uh, the way our schools are funded in regards to um, uh, millage rates and that type of thing, mm -hmm. it, it really affects uh, the equality of funding across districts. I was present, I was formerly superintendent in one district where a, a mill for our particular district at that time was $130,000 and then you crossed a river to the next district and the mill was $1.3 million. <laughs> so, so that can cause, you know, uh, but so the current formula that we have, the MAP, equalizes that somewhat. Uh, another thing that, uh, that we don't talk about as much is uh, our EL students. Uh, we have, uh, we're the third highest population as far as EL students in the state. Uh, and so, but we, and we receive very, very little funding. Talk uh, about the English. English yeah. learners, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so not only are we teaching or trying to teach those kids reading, writing, and arithmetic, but at the same time, parallel, we're also trying to teach them the language. Uh, but, and again, those kids count on those state assessments just like all of our other kids do. Sure. So uh, we're not complaining, but we're just saying we'd like a little consideration. I mean, there's more expense in, in associated regards, with that. Right, right. Is there not? There of, is. of handling that there situation. Is. My, my daughter, is. a teacher for nine years in, um, in Madison County, and w would talk frequently about the, just the, the difficulty of yeah. that. It, they want to accommodate, but you right. usually got to have some additional resources whatever, to do that. Whatever formula is decided on, we just want a level playing field. Okay. And we believe that our kids and our teachers and our faculty and staff can compete with anybody. Got it.
Sounds good to me. Dr. Jones, appreciate you coming on. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you. Dr. B.R. Jones, Superintendent Jones County School District, has been our guest here.